Now, the build-up to what they are calling the biggest fight in British boxing history continues. It's estimated to be worth more than £20 million. 80,000 will be at Wembley for the rematch between Carl Froch and George Groves. Angela Rafferty has had exclusive access to Froch and his family in the lead-up to the big fight. It's fight or flight time. We don't like each other, and that's what's making this fight so big. Seven a.m. in Sheffield. This is training camp for Carl Froch. Ahead of the biggest fight of his career, nothing is left to chance. All day, every day, five times a week. This is the routine. I'm feeling it, it's painful, it's hard, but no pain, no gain. It all adds up to hours in the gym, relentless but rewarding. I need to leave no stone unturned. I need to make sure there's, there's no ifs and buts and maybes. I need to make sure that all the preparation, physical and mental, has gone into this camp. Dare I say, I'm almost in the best shape of my life. Team Froch has taken on a new dimension, worked with a psychologist to make sure he wins the mental as well as the physical fight. He's a trash talker. And I couldn't get my head around the fact that he was being really, really sort of disrespectful to me and talking down my achievements. I didn't like it. So I let it wind me up. I let him get under my skin. This time, it's, I've been there and done it. It's no major thing, talking to a psychologist. You know, it's, it's quite enjoyable. I have a good chat with him, put things into perspective, put things logically, and um, I think it's helped. <laughs> At 36, Froch is facing a man 10 years his junior. The champion is ready for the challenger. I don't think he's good enough, strong enough, tough enough or fit enough to go 12 rounds with me at a pace. He can't walk that plank and um, I'm going to take him to the brink. At his side will be the man who admits that Froch is not just a fighter but a friend. He has everything you need. He has fitness, he has stamina, he has ability, he has toughness. So he, he's kind of what you need in a... In, in a professional fighter. He knows how to win, he's a winner and um, that's what the plan is on the 31st of May. There's no greater feeling than standing victorious in the arena and this is a stadium, 80,000, so that's my goal, to stand there with my belts at the end of the fight and have the crowd, 80,000 of them, all cheering my name. Wow, great stuff.